Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Bretonia campaign. And uh, for the lady and all that. Uh, so see all these skulls and red uh, squiggles and stuff. That, that's scurvy. That's what that looks like. That's what scurvy looks like. So, uh, eat an orange from time to time. So, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Something, presumably. Um, so I haven't, uh, I haven't done anything about my mouse yet. Hopefully, like, it was just a weird one-off, and my PC was just having a, a joke at my expense for some reason. But, uh, hopefully my mouse is fine now. Like, I, I wish I could point and say, uh, lol, it was a PlayStation controller. I have no idea what's going on with it. Um, but I mean, things seem to be working fine now, but clicking and double-clicking. I mean, I guess double-clicking does, does zoom on a campaign map, so... You probably notice it. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Hopefully my mouse is fine. Um, and if you weren't paying attention last episode in the battle, then you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about about my mouse, and um, you should pay closer attention. I can't, I can't do everything for you, okay? But you guys should be taking notes when you're watching these campaigns, because there will be a test. Let's crack on. Wow, well, succeeds. And oh, oh wow, that's really cool. So it's not just for our, you know, core cities. Any, anyone we upgrade. Uh, we're going to get a little blurb for us. That's lovely. So, Marienburg, city port of merchants. At the mouth of the River Reich stands Marienburg, one of the largest, richest, most corrupt and dangerous city ports in the old world. It is a den of pirates, assassins and black marketeers. Here, everything is for sale and nothing is without a price. Marienburg is also known as the City of Gold, which alone conveys a good idea of the wealth of this sprawling city. Nowhere else can exotic goods from as far away as the elven kingdoms of Ulthuan or distant Cathay be found so readily. And we got a town census. So, know your population, know the size of your army. That is kind of foreboding. It's kind of foreboding, because that really does sort of show a direct <laughs> link between population and army. Why? Because they're all your army. You just have to say the word. Pretty grim. What a crappy place to live in. Anyway, uh, so recruit rank. Plus two for peasant mob units. That's great. Now our peasant mobs will be overpowered. Um, and we also have better uh, local recruit rank. And Wargrove of Woe and Crooked Moon have both been destroyed. The Empire are just wiping out all of their enemies. The Empire are crashing it right now. Good for them. Good for them. We definitely gave them a nudge in the right direction, but my... God, they are really Strike using out. that nudge, aren't they? They really are using that it nudge. So. Also, um, we are sort of uh, uh, um, presuming a lot here. We we are presuming that there will be a chaos invasion imminently. Which, of course, we know that that's the case because we know how this game works. But uh, for Shilfroy, just to be lying in wait, waiting for chaos to show up, is sort of an odd thing for him to be doing. But um, we're just going to assume he's found some reason or other. Maybe um, seeing as how he did liberate an entire province, essentially, um, and has allowed, you know, Ostermark to completely rebuild, we'll assume that he's here as an honoured guest. We'll assume that, okay? So that's what we're assuming. So, uh, Brion has a really good garrison with Guillaume here. Um, I don't this think these guys will... We'll already get anywhere. Uh, I love, I love these ships. I really do. Count Noctilus with his, uh, he's actually got a castle on this thing. Which is wild. Big chunk of land. It's like he's imitating a black arc. You know, I can't tell if I love this or think it just looks really stupid. <laughs> it's one of them. It's certainly one of those things. Who can say which? Hey, that's just a pirate ship. It's, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's just not very exciting. Uh, I've got to say the crow's nests are very exciting though, aren't they? Big old, big old things. They actually look a lot like the uh, the huts um, for, for green skins. I had a, had a make your own terrain book when I was a kid for Warhammer. And the, the green skin huts were just like a little circle with a, with a cone on top. Just very cute. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Lyoness. Looking pretty good. We're getting our farms built up. And uh, Caron, of course, we are waiting 
For enough money for the Abbey of Grail Companions, we're waiting a couple more turns for the Royal Menagerie to finish building. We also want to get Lewin back to shore so he stops getting scurvy. Excellent. And uh, André Dubois. I don't know what the hell we're doing with her. Not a clue. Uh, send her over to get treasure, maybe. Perhaps we'll do that. Because we've we've kind of ransacked Albion. Uh, we could go up here and deal with Rakath, but honestly... I think we could just leave him. Like, he's no threat to anyone. I'm sure, I'm sure Norska will be the be the death of him anyway. Uh, we can actually upgrade to the Cathedral of the Lady, which is actually kind of surprising, actually. I was not expecting us to be able to afford that. I thought that'd be more expensive. Should we get this now? It will provide a nice garrison. And it'll unlock Grail Guardians. I do like Grail Guardians. That would be cool to have. Though I do want to have more of the charge bonus rather than just sort of... You know, the high melee defense. I'd rather Grinnell Knights over Grail Guardians. But I would quite like to have that built. I think we'll hang on to our money for now, because I do want to be able to actually get the uh, the, the tournament grounds built. Because if we get this, that will buff everything, which is nice. We'll buff everything. Also, uh, Paladins. Yeah, four of four at the moment. I was going to say, can we get more Paladins? No, apparently not. Uh, Marienburg. Okay, I do want to get the Cinnabar Mining Pit built. And do we have anything else we get money from, actually? I don't think so. I'm going to tap room for more control. This place is actually slightly unhappy. So I think I might have to do that. Other than that, I mean, I could get a smithy. So I can get the extra... Um, well, extra melee defense for defending up, you know, defending troops. But also just the extra armor for everyone. Everywhere. That would be quite good to have. But... Uh, oh, well, what I can do, actually, is get rid of these apothecaries. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that apothecary. That way, I can get the extra control from the tap room. And uh, I could even get rid of these other two and build more farms here. I won't be able to build the windmills, but I can build the farms. Oh, and R now, actually, is giving everyone plus two armor. I forgot that it's tier four, and we have tier four minor settlements. We can build a ludicrous amount of them. But not in a lot of places, because a lot of places we are using the farms and we've got the... Yeah, it's a bit annoying. King hmm. Lewin. Oh well, whatever. Let's just crack on. We're just sort of waiting for the Chaos Invasion at this point. I don't know what's taking it so long. I'm sure it's usually here by like 1090 or something. It could just be because we haven't expanded much. Because there is a secret like Imperium level or something that it it records in the background in order to sort of hasten things like the Chaos Invasion. So the fact we haven't taken much territory could be what's slowing us down. So, Charity, rejoice, peasants, for a generous knight of Bretonia provides for you. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, so we don't actually need the tap room now, I just realised. That's hilarious. Oh my god, we can get the Marienburg port. That would actually be huge as well. Oh, that's an extra 1,200 quid as well. Yeah, alright, we're getting that. we got to get the port of Marienburg. It's too big a deal. So, all right, fine. Have it your way, game. King of Have it your way. Also, our income went down. Not sure why. Probably an event. I think we're getting plus ten percent income from uh, from places. I know that's not very specific, but we we had a thing. We had a thing. So Valiant you lot, Lord. are you gonna come to shore so I can kill My you? Because I don't want to. I don't want to attack you in the water. I'd really rather not. Yeah, armoured in faith, but also armour, right? You did bring your armour, right, Gio? Because I do want you to survive. I don't want you thinking faith is going to keep you going. Um, there's lower upkeep for all non-knight units. And then that's all infantry units. But we don't have any... It's weird that... I mean, it can't be... I suppose, I suppose that just doesn't mean grail reliquae, right? Or trebuchets. But non-knight units and infantry units, and then also peasant units, I think it says as well somewhere. Like, there's just so many ways to say much the same thing. Um, yeah, extra battle pilgrim damage and things is nice. Extra income from farms is good, though. Oh, yeah, the extra speed for cavalry. An extra charge bonus for cavalry. An extra armor for knights. Extra weapon strength for knights. Oh, my word. Ooh. Ooh, I want all of this. It's going to take a long time, though. 
We've got to get all this extra income and stuff first. I right, start with the charge bonus and we'll head towards uh, regular tournaments. That's going to take a long time. We might not do it by the end of the campaign. In fact, in a way, I sort of hope we don't, because that's going to be an extra, like, you know, third of what we've done already again. And uh, I feel like we're pretty much loitering with most of the time we have now. So let's just start smashing through turns for a bit. Okay, so... Oh, okay, never mind. That We can wait for that. So, mockery of our vows. Gossip has spread throughout the court that a foreign lord has been openly mocking the Bretonian vows. Will you let such a slur stand? We can reprimand them and lose a bunch of trade, or we can lose leadership for cavalry units. Great, great. Uh, protect the vows, frankly. We're not, we're not letting people get away with that. And uh, we're losing a grand per turn. That's great. Love that. Uh, Go Trek and Felix. Hello, Go Trek and Felix. I'm not going to bother recruiting you because I have enough armies already. But hi, welcome to our lands. Welcome. I like a little homestead here. I mean, it's a ruin, obviously, but like, I like the little terrain it adds. It says, look at them, look at them there. Here they are. So, recent conversation in the local tavern has been centered around a pair of powerful mercenaries rumored to be traveling through nearby provinces. The famous dwarf slayer known as Gotrek Gernison and his human companion, the chronicler Felix Jaeger. Some of the Empire consider Gotrek and Felix to be outlaws, but the duo are known to have slain some of the most insurmountable adversaries known to the forces of order. Should they be persuaded to join your cause, they would be truly formidable allies. Eh, yeah, they'll do fine anyway. So, you, my lady. Um, extra... There's Ground Lights and Ground Guardian buffs, but she doesn't have any of those, so... Blessed Water. Secrets of the Grail. I mean, there's some good stuff here, frankly. Big old, big old ward save there with the, the girdle of gold. Kind of a gold girdle. Um, God, why are you so low level? Why are you going to be that way, huh? Income from farms in local region. Oh. We have no farms here, so that's pointless. Huh. Ah, uh, God, I don't know. What's good? What would be good for you? I mean, there's so much stuff we need. I want to get to Standing Ground and Arcane Conduit. And there's a bunch of stuff up here. She's just so low level. At least she's got a lot of vowels, though. That's something. Um, I guess I'll go Worship as the Grail for all those troops that she doesn't have anymore. Brilliant. Love that. Um, we can also... Ah, oh, I really want to get more farms. But I also really want to get the Grail Shrine. Let's get a Grail Shrine. Screw it. We'll get a Grail Shrine and we'll get this uh, Cinnabar Mining Pit. Okay, no farms for Carcassonne. That's what I always say. Leoness, though. More farms for Leoness. Again, that's what I always say. Um, okay, how are we doing? <gasps> We're there. We made it. All the peasant bowmen are gone. Of the As a you lot. King Why? Leonke. They're peasants. We're also getting rid of these field trebuchets. Could I give them to another army? Probably. Probably could. Probably could. Do I care? Probably not. Also, nice to the realm. They're all going to. I know. I know. I'm going mad here. So, uh, Royal Pegasus Knights. They're already on rank 4. Just straight away, so... I don't feel bad. Get some Grail Knights as well. What should we get first? And we're getting literally no infantry with this army, by the way. None. Let's start with a Grail Knight. What a start that is. We really need more money. <laughs> I'll wait. It's better just to get it all together. Genuinely, I can save up more money if I just, I just wait. But if I'm doing it incrementally, like, it's all big upkeep for those units, so it's just going to slow me down in the long run. So I'm just going to leave it. Oh, here we go. Here we are. No one going to tell me about it? No? Are we not getting the advisor? No? <laughs> really? Okay, fine. So, uh, we've got some raiding. Oh, Bordelo has been fully upgraded, so I guess we'll talk about our lovely kingdom before we address this. So, the Dukedom of Bordelo is a founding dukedom that lies at the western coast of Bretonia, just south of the cursed lands of Moussillon, known as the largest exporter of wines within the entire kingdom. Bordelo is a beautiful land filled with many farms and vineyards. 
Such is the dukedom's reputation for wine that even peasants and nobles alike are given the luxury of drinking the fine liquor at a cost that is a third its price in other lands. Being one of the few coastal dukedoms, Bordeaux has a tradition of seafaring similar to their brethren within Longueuil. This has resulted in fierce competition over the sea trade and sea routes that link the large port cities together, such as Marienburg and Eringrad to the north, and Barakvar and the Telea city-states to the south. His current ruler is Duke Alberic. Here we go, dire tidings from the north. The tendrils of chaos writhe and reach out from the accursed wastes, tainting the land and sowing dissent. Their, corrupt, their corrupt forces wax ever stronger, and now their agents are abroad, spreading the foul corruption of their malign gods. On their heels comes bands of marauding warriors led by the most zealous of the chaos, uh, chaos lords, eager to wreak destruction in the name of the ruinous powers, and all the while, even more, warriors flock to some focal point in the chaos wastes, a nexus of power which transcends their petty rivalries and impels them to join with the numberless horde. Doom approaches, and it is only in strength that any hope may be found. In other words, hey, hey guys, chaos are here. It's a lot of them. They're here. Mm -hmm. Just a bunch of guys. We're going to fight them. It's going to be good. We're going to kill them all. Um, but again, here, frame rate seems a bit crappy. Don't know what that is. Huh. Oh, well. Um, Very well, if you insist. No, oh, you stay there. What are we gonna get you, huh? Should I, should I get a royal hippogriff? Nice in the queue. I feel like we do need to get this guy some, like a big punchy units, you know, so we can deal with all the armor, all that chaos armor. Although we are getting uh, armor piercing bonuses, actually, um, thanks to our tech, so we should be able to do more damage to him. Some grail knives would be jolly good though. Just a bunch of questing knights would be great, to be honest. Just all that armor piercing, just sit there and brawl. But uh, I do kind of want something a bit special, you know? You know, Shilfroy had been chilling with a bunch of Pegasus knights for quite some time. I think we should get him some royal Pegasus knights to finish this off. You know? He's, he's got Pegasus knights. We'll get some royal ones. It's about time. Okay, it's about time. It's going to take six turns before we have to pay the upkeep for that, so... <laughs> it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Okay. Seek the lady's favor. Uh, again, I don't think I want to actually recruit anything from him, because our local recruitment is huge. So we can... King Luan Luan actually saying that. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So yeah, 9. That's a lot. That is a lot. I'd like to get that all together, and then we'll just get the, the rest afterwards. What is your behest? I know the way. Yeah, well, good. I'm glad you know the way. It's a good sign. Um, blade shield. Good. Alright, so that'll do. And uh, we have been attacked down here. We have been attacked down here. So, Gyum. Uh, wow, really? Gonna be gonna be tricky, is it? I kind of disagree. I, I strongly disagree, in fact. I feel like this isn't that big a problem. I mean, it's a lot of depth guard, though. It is a lot of depth guard. But... Generally, Depth Guard just melt under cavalry, and we have a lot of cavalry, so I think we're fine. It just seems weird that it, it has such little stock in our army, you know? It's really quite bizarre. But what I am going to do, because I think it'll be fun, is I'm going to put these guys under AI control, and uh, I'll just control all the cavalry and see if we can make the most of the situation. So, let's do it. Alright, so... <laughs> we have our just incredible air force. It's a shame that none of these are royal Pegasus Knights now, though, huh? Though, God, they're cool. I really do love Pegasus Knights. I mean, just look at them. They look great. It's just the same with any Bretonian Knights, you know? Just all the colours are really cool. Bretonia is a just fantastic-looking army. I can't believe they weren't more popular. I can't believe they weren't more popular. But, I don't know. I think it's just uh, too fancy. And I think most people... Who, uh, who collect Warhammer want to sort of pretend that it's all grimdark and there's nothing else to it, you know? But actually, the fact that these guys are all fancy, but their lives are completely fraudulent and they are, they're able to be this fancy because of just a horrible one-sided system, 
you know? I think it's just wild. So yeah, we can charge right in and get on top of these guys immediately. So, a little bit worried about the cannonades. A little bit. A little bit worried. I don't think the, uh, the bombs can actually reach us, though. Okay. And yeah, we're gonna get hit by some magic. Bloody magic. Alright. Oh, you go for them too. You guys dive into the back of something, I don't know. So this is all a bit squiffy. So you guys start running back. And oh my. Lots of troops over here. Hopefully they won't get too caught out. But uh, Pegasus and I seem to be doing a fine job. It's a fine job all round. Okay, you lot. Shimmy around. Okay, I can't really tell where everybody is. We're getting a lot of troops just sort of getting um, pushed up and down a bit. It looks like we dealt with these guys though. I'm going to ignore Noctilus though. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave him. Just gonna leave him to it. And how are you lot doing? All right, nice. The realm is struggling over here. Yeah, we got some struggles. We got some struggles. Okay. Okay, everyone. Just weight of the charge here. Let's just smash him. All right. It's got to get him. There we go. Done. Okay, now we need to get our Pegasus Knights in the air. Everyone else, run for it. Okay, we are splitting right up. I'm going to leave them to it. Whoops. Okay, let's get over here. We're going to deal with these cannons really nice and quickly. And that should avoid a bunch of damage. A bunch of potential damage, at least. And I mean, I can jump on that guy. I think we'll just let him shoot me. Okay. Let's peel a couple of them off. Yeah, we're going to peel a few off in a few spots. Okay, Knights of the Realm. And yeah, these Depth Guard. They got nothing. They got nothing. What are you doing? Why are you doubling back? Why are a bunch of you doubling back? What are you doing? Charge, you lunatics. Oh, they died already. I was going to watch us attack him, but they're gone. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, let's get you over here. Okay, good. Alright, you guys can handle it. We don't need all of you over there. Oh yeah, you attack them, actually. And we'll get in here, charge these guys. Wonderful. Just gonna absolutely wreck them. God, oh, Pegasus Knights are so cool. I really like them. I really like them. They're really fun. They've been absolutely, like, just putting the work in as well in this campaign. And absolutely crushing it. Why are you in a different group? What? That's weird. I right, everyone charge in. Okay, or not. Like, what is wrong with you guys? They're just charging all slow. It's really weird. Alright, well, they got blatted. That's fine. Now you move there. And I guess I'm not going to attack them, because our archers are just melting them, so... Okay. Good. Alright. Now we'll charge them in the rear a little bit. Okay, they're getting very sandwiched. And that's going to be army losses. Hooray. Excellent. Good. Absolutely crushing it. 
Ah, oh, and our foot squire is looking great. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So there goes Noctilus anyway. Close victory. Nicely done, boys. Nicely done. Although I'm sort of sad that we wiped out everybody. I was hoping that we'd be able to chase them down and get a bit more experience out of them. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm actually going to forfeit some chivalry to ransom them. Oh, that doesn't make any sense because they're all dead. But I don't care, okay? We're, we're giving up on the RP just this once so we can get a bit of extra cash because I want to be able to recruit our army so we can get back to, you know, playing with Lewin and marching up to fight Chaos and doing all that cool stuff, okay? So let's just pause, pause the law friendly button for a second. And then hit play again. Good. So, Dragon's Claw, Malgrimus's, Mal Malgrimus, cool. Malgrimus's claw has been enchanted by damsels, enabling its bearer to walk through fire and emerge entirely unharmed. At least 15% of the time. Um, <laughs> sure. And Pirate Hunter. I mean, that is, that is what Guillaume does. He is quite the pirate hunter. Extra melee attack when fighting a sea is really nice. So, you know, it will encourage us to go out to sea to fight them. Yeah, that went great. That went really well. Uh, Guardians of the Lady will make our Pegasus Knights better. I do like that. Although extra charge bonus is good. I like that. But, oh, we need to get you to rank 14, mate. I need a hippogriff for you. It's just so lame having you running around on foot while half your army is in the sky. Like, not being a part of the Air Force that is the sort of gimmick of his army. It's just, it's very sad. Uh, so Bordelot can now start getting farms. Hell yeah. Finally. It's kind of weird, a few places that we just put off getting farms. Because, you know, you've had sort of other, more pressing things to get. Supposedly. Uh, right, you move a little further. We're going we're gonna to force march you so you have one turn of... Um... Oh dear god, that's in the sea. Oh no. Oh, sort of came to the sea. Uh, it's fine, we can run away. Uh, but yeah, uh, um, yeah, we'll get that next turn. It's all good. Kiron is just going to sit there. We're not getting anything yet. We're going to continue to save up some cash. So, um, that will do, I think. Yeah? Oh, I kind of want to upgrade the Sidbar Mining Pit, though. Lend us more money. Anything that can get us, like, income per turn, I'm happy to get now. Because obviously the sooner we get it, the better, but... It probably won't speed anything up, but we'll see. So, unassigned skill points over here for Mattia. How did you level up? Let's get Deadly Blade, shall we? Let's get you Deadly Blade. So six turns, we'll have Royal Pegasus Knights in his army. Which would be nice. Can't wait for that. And uh, our peasant economy. We have so much room for peasant. Like, for peasants in our army. We can make a whole peasant army easily. But getting it to the front lines is going to be difficult because I decided not to have any um, territory over here at all. Probably should have taken an outpost, huh? Oh my god, like, the Empire's taking everything. It's incredible. Good job, boys. Good job. Genuinely proud of them. Genuinely proud of our boys. <gasps> oh, it's just Kragmir. I thought Drakenhoff had got taken. Phew. I thought it got destroyed by some... Some nefarious cur. Alright, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. Okay. We're gonna get... Things. Um, Curse of Angler here. Good. And for you... Blade shield, why not? Done. So I'm upgrade available. Oh, I would love to upgrade the fort. I like upgrading forts. Forts are good. I really like a good fort. But is anything ever going to come anywhere near attacking this? No. So I'm going to hold off. So this is interesting. Look at these guys. Fancy. Um, I find it odd that it says they're going to win. I mean, Marauder Champions great weapons are scary and everything. And but yeah, all this stuff we can just sort of kite. Really. We can we can just shoot the snot out of them with a lot of peasant bowmen. So I don't really see these guys performing well. I think I'll just wait and let them attack me. I think that'd be fun. Cool. Okay, so we have a ton of money now. Uh, I can get the tournament grounds, but I'm not going to. Not yet. Also, there's more treasure behind us now? Hell yeah. Alright, you grab this. Okay, you grab this. Then we're gonna run off back this way. How are you doing? 
What have we got? Damn, no big treasure. So while your crew search a wreck, the, de uh, the deck heaves and water bursts through the rotting hull. What is left of your ship begin uh, what's left of the ship begins to sink, taking its cargo with it. Your crew only have time to salvage a few crates before the ocean claims it, but what should they save? Castle Forge Steel, why the heck not? Okay, good. Your exploits on high seas have led to the salvage of arcane and butte blades, enhancing your army's combat skills. And there's a sword of strife. Cool. So, not a lot. Not, not a lot. Not a lot going on there. Uh, again, let's try and double time it so we can get there next turn. And now is the time for new units. So, I'm going to start with the things that take three turns, maybe? So let's get two Royal Hippogriff Knights, three Royal Pegasus Knights. That sound good? Well, I have fewer Pegasus Knights than Royal Pegasus Knights, which seems a bit strange, so maybe I should get one of them too. So we got three and three. You know what? Screw it. We'll have more Royals than the standard ones. The standard ones, they've got, they've got experience. Okay? We know they're Royal. We know it. We know it. Okay, let's go with Grail Knights. And then I think the last, I actually think the last six slots that we have should all be Questing Knights. I think the last six should be Questing Knights. Because that way we've got that big armor piercing. And they're pretty great in the front line. I mean, 43 melee defense is standard. Um, but yeah, with that big armor piercing, I think they'd be fantastic front line fighters. They can just wade in, sit there with the armor piercing, dealing with all the, you know, the chaos monsters, and then everything else gets decent flanks and really just punish every possible enemy. That, and we are going on an territory war. Questing knights are going to be signing up for that, aren't they? Okay, I can't queue them all up just yet, but hey, we have two turns before um, any of this stuff is built, so we're still going to be earning 8.5k per turn. I think by things are going to be good. Also, by the time we get to the front line with those guys, we will have the Abbey of the Grail Companions built. Which means that we'll have vigor loss reduction, extra charge bonus, and uh, extra um, melee defense for Grail value units. So just a bunch of improvements, faction-wide, to all our cavalry. So that should work out great. We're also working on all the tech to try and do the same, even though it's going to take a while before we get there. But still, we are getting there. So, Shilfoli is, yeah, five turns away from having a perfect army. I mean, not really. All these peasants are kind of trash, but it'll do. It'll do. I think this is good for him. It's fine. He'll be able to contribute. Um, and I feel like you should want to be allied with me now. Nope, still not. Still not, apparently. Fine. Be that way. Jerk. Alright, anyone else want to be friends? Nah, not really. That's fine. That's fine. Don't need friends. Do you the lady's favor. Hello, Ryan. Uh, military access, sure. Who's going to use it to go fight Chaos? I don't see why not. Although we know he's definitely going to have his way with all the woodland creatures as he goes. Ah, we have the tournament grounds, and it comes with some fluff. Isn't that nice? So, count. Oh, wow. 10k per turn. I like this. I like this a lot. All thanks to the tournament ground. So, countless tournaments are held annually in Bretonia, yet none compared to the royal tournaments of Chiron, held four times a year. Lances shattered upon shields as knights from across the realm fight under the watchful eye of King Lewin. Knights of the Empire have also been known to attend on occasion, and even elven knights have participated on the rarest occasions, usually when the prize is great. Many knights use blunted lances to prevent the games from turning lethal, as King Lewin is not one to needlessly throw away the lives of his men for the sake of mere entertainment. However, there are times when grudges need to be settled between knights who consider their honour besmirched, and the joust allows these men to right the wrongs in a noble fashion. In this event, known as the Joust uh, à l'Utrance, or Joust of War, knights use sharp lances and combat is lethal. Damn. Brutal. So, hay stores. The horses of Bretonia are treated better than the small folk. Hay stores, for example, allow horses to feed all year around. Uh, good. Good. And next up, we got farriers. Good. So, cheaper stable buildings, which is sort of pointless now, because we Strength built all the stable buildings we want, so... Never mind. Um, but hey, happy the Grail Companions. Six more turns before that's built. Hell yeah. Love Music it. Counseling. I really dread to think how expensive Lewin's army is going to be once this is all built. 
Because, uh, well, Royal Hippogriff Knights, for instance, 475 per turn. 304 for the Pegasus Knights. Uh, Grail Knights, 345. Yeah, it's going to be pricey, guys. It's going to be pricey. And I don't mind one bit. Because it's going to be beautiful. Good. Then you should know that my heart only wants for treasure. Go get it. The seabed is littered with the barnacle-clad hulls of ships that once set out to tame the oceans. Recently, rumours started circulating that one particularly notable wreckage has been spotted, a partially sunken ship that was rumoured to have been sailing back to Marienburg with a hold full of mysterious trinkets looted from across the old world before suffering Stromfels' ire. You know its location, but there's always a chance that others have caught wind of these rumours too. The riches and trinkets headed for Marienburg shall be ours, regardless of who challenges us for them. Kavlau! Bra 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 bra. Explosions. Treasure down below. Comes from a land down under. While sailing towards the wreckage of the ship from Marienburg, a galleon helmed by a hissing vampire admiral appeared in a cloud of broadside guns and crackling black powder weapons blocking your passage. There's a, there's a very loud car driving past. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's certainly bothering me. It's gone now, but you know. After defeating the undead freebooters, you looted their galleon's coffers before sailing on to claim the salvage from the Marienburg wreck for yourself. Another 5k? What is your uh, go over there. You're headed, you're headed home. That's alright, you heading home? Heading home, Dubois? Someone's gonna have to uh, babysit Caron while we uh, while we, we go off gallivanting. We do, we do tend to gallivant. What was I going to build here? Was it the armory? I think it might have been the armory I was going to build here. Though Grail Chapel seems like a good idea in such a cultural hub. Um, you know, story-wise, obviously, not, pr you know, no productive sense. Let's get a smithy. Let's do that. All right, next turn, we're going to queue up all the questing knights. In fact, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to forgo the smithy. The lion. And I'm going to get some of the questing knights queued up now. So yeah, two more. They're quite expensive. I'm not sure next turn we would have been able to cover the cost because we're going to be losing out on some money thanks to the Grail Knights being finished. Uh, maybe, maybe it wouldn't have mattered. Maybe it would have. Maybe it would have. Nope. So let's get them queued. Blessings of the lady be upon. Well, how about that? Lewin is now devoted. The lady smiles on those who spend as much time in the chapel as on the battlefield. Gained by spending multiple turns in the settlement with the chapel. Oh, good for you. Um, you're going to need it. And, of course, while he's waiting for his uh, units to be recruited, he's going to be spending a lot of time in the chapel. I mean, he's about to go to war with the army of, the you know, of chaos. It's it's really the antithesis of, uh, of what the lady stands for, you know? Or at least, you know, it's supposed to be. Okay, and let's get the last one queued up. Cool. Three more turns. We got the army that we uh, that we dreamt about in our wonderful dreams, full of flying horses. Okay, good. Surfer X chilling. So you guys aren't going to attack me, huh? It's not going to bother. And we are suffering attrition now, which is sort of annoying. Should I just attack him and just finish this off? Some of the armies already disappeared. He had Marauder Horsemen and they're not here anymore. Which I can't fully understand. But alright, we're gonna we're gonna fight him, okay? We're gonna fight this guy. Okay, so. Easy. Easy peasy squeezy lemons, alright? Give me no problem at all. I mean, those Marauder Champions are going to just cut through swathes of our boys, but it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Mostly. Battle ready. Very battle ready. For the lady. Swiftly lady. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to chase down these uh, Marauder Ice Wolves Chariots with our knights. And everything else, we're gonna shoot the snot out of. And uh, we will want to get these men at arms with pole arms 
on uh, their skin wolf, actually. So let's make sure that we get this guy out here somewhere. Okay, it looks like they're running off that way, which I don't like. Okay, fine. I guess I'm going to hide back in the trees so these guys stop doing what they're doing. Don't want to be wasting time shooting those Marauder Champions. I want to go for the Great Weapons variant. So let's actually start shooting now. And I don't want to be fighting down a slope, but it's fine. Start doing that. Okay, start moving up and around. So these are more pole arms. Want them in the rear. Oops. Yeah, a huge amount of damage to them already. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good. It's going great. Alright, you pin them down, I suppose. Okay, good. Looks like we might be able to get them down the slope. Eh, not quite. Okay, good. Alright, you charge at the back there. You guys charge this way. And you lot can actually shoot those Blood Order Champions of Great Weapons. You guys are going to try and squeeze in over here. And, okay, my mouse is being a bit crappy again. I clicked once and it double clicked. Oh dear. Yeah, it's not so bad. You guys are doing okay over there. And, oh, okay. Yeah, this is actually going great. We are crushing it over here. So yeah, we're done there. That's for sure. You guys keep chasing them, please. You guys doing alright there? And yeah, we are just cleaning house over there. But uh, yeah, our squires aren't doing the best thing. You know, the the Marauder Champions are quite intimidating. And maybe... Uh, yeah, I think we just need to shoot them for a bit. Are we done? Yep, done over there. Good. Alright, let's get you over there and you shoot into them. And you lot can all shoot there? Oh, our Grail Reliquary is gone. That's okay. No harm done. Okay, I don't like these coming for our knights, so I'm going to back off. Okay, now we're going to try. And, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's charge down here. Into this lot. That should help. Now we're going to shoot these guys. Oh, no. They're coming over there. Ah, that's annoying. Going for our pole arms, huh? Hmm. A pain. A pain indeed. Well, I'll deal with this guy, slowly but surely. He's on a horse, though, so all our anti-infantry isn't helping us. Which is annoying. Let's, uh... Let's pull our pole arms out of that fight. Alright, you go deal with them if you could. You move back a bit. Ah. Things are suddenly looking a little bit rubbish. Suddenly not looking like the greatest thing, huh? Okay, guys. Keep chasing. You keep moving on that way. Okay, you shoot them, please. Go stop him. Okay. Right. You know, keep moving. Yeah, you keep chasing them, I suppose. Alright, how are you not doing? Uh, oh, dear. Come on, Paladin. Okay, I think our Paladin's having some troubles. Oh, no. Okay, we're doing well over here, though. You guys keep moving. Get a good charge on this lot, alright? Got good anti large. So, you're gonna kill them all. It's gonna be wonderful, alright? Ain't nothing they can do. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderful. Just you wait. Uh, this sucks a bit, but you're doing okay. Oh, no, looks like army loss is hitting. Good. Oh, that was a fun battle. That was a fun battle. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh, kill him, for sure. We definitely want him dead. Come back here. Cheeky sod. 
All right, come on, guys. Get your shots in. God help us. And yeah, my mouse is still being a bit weird. He's going to get away, isn't he? The salt's going to get away. All because you guys can't shoot. Oh, well. Perfect victory. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Our paladin survived, which I'm very surprised about. Good job, Marius Paraval. And a uh, hack out of the Vargs. Got hacked up, didn't he? I know, that was a stretch. <laughs> so, yeah, that one great. Sadly, I can't chase him up because, uh, yeah, it's not an army, it's just a garrison. Alright. A hack of the Vargs got killed. Champion of the lady. And uh, Marius et Prus, almost on full, you know, fully leveled. I guess... Steel technology. It's not very honourable, stealing things. And who needs technology when you have chivalry? You know? And when you have devotion to the lady. Okay, let's have a look. Anything else going on? Not really, we're just sort of chilling. Um, Guillaume is just like... Is he ever going to have anything to do now? I have no idea. There's some treasure up there. Maybe you can go... Maybe you can go and do that, Guillaume. Yes? Let's send him up here. The mysterious island. Ooh, big treasure there. And oh my god. There's a bunch of dark elves. Rampaging. We can't have that. How are you doing? Uh, 20 settlements. Okay, good. Irtane's still doing alright. So, declare war. And uh, Ostermark is going to come with. No, you guys can stay still. That's fine. So we will be at war with the Cult of Pleasure and Hag Grief as well, but... I don't care. We're going to war with them, guys. We are going to war with them. Okay, if they attack us, great. Gives us something to do. You know, breaks up the, the, the loop a bit, I'd say. So how's Marienburg doing defense-wise? Pretty good, but, like, not the best. So probably need to upgrade to reinforce walls at some point so we get a better garrison. Even though that doesn't seem to offer... A better garrison at all. What? That's weird. The army hasn't changed. Oh, sorry, it does. It upgrades battle pilgrims to foot squires. I don't know why I didn't see that. But other than that, that's it. It's just, that's not a big upgrade. Oh well, whatever. Okay, that'll be it then. That's us done. That's us done for the, uh, for the episode, guys. But we are crushing it, and we have such a huge peasant economy now that I think we can summon additional armies around the place just stacked with uh, peasant bowmen and, um, like, pole arms and foot squires. I think we will be able to stock up to defend Bretonia from the new threats of the Dark Elves. So, I think we'll be good. I think, I think things are going to be looking up soon. Um, but I mean, yeah, three more turns, and Lewin can start marching towards victory. It's taking him ages, though, but yeah, we'll get there. So guys, if you enjoyed this, you know the drill by now. Comment, like, subscribe, um, feed the cats, all the things. Brilliant. Don't feed the cats all the things, but feed the cats and do all the other things that you need to do. To run errands, okay? Be, be a productive member of society, like me, who plays video games for a living. Brilliant. See you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.